in 15 years, however the fuck long it's gonna be, that Trey Songz doc is gonna be crazier than the R. Kelly one. guys welcome to my channel and if you're new here we discuss and talk about everything and anything that we want to talk about and I give weekly and daily content and uh, I'm done with the intro I'm still working on my intro I promise it's gonna get better okay so um, this is why I don't put celebrities celebrities on a pedestal one thing we seem to forget is that these people these celebrities are human beings just like us and they are capable of being crazy or have any other psychological problems or addictions or anything else you know just like the rest of us they are capable of having bills and money problems just like the rest of us the minute we stop putting these people like that demigods like they can't do any wrong we strip away humanity away from them now that is bad it's bad look at how people put Beyonce she can't do anything wrong and that is bad she's a human being like we seem to forget that these people are capable of doing anything and everything because they are human being in our eyes we believe they can never do wrong and that is your own problem you, that is your own thing that you need to fix by yourself and I'm not even surprised when I hear things about um, Trey songs I'm not surprised I'm not surprised when I hear things about R. Kelly. I'm not surprised when I hear things about Beyonce or Jay-Z because these people are human beings and they're capable of anything and I don't want to strip them away from that and end up having too much high expectation of myself that my own high expectations are the same things that cause me pain so I just wanted to say that before we can just jump into the video that they are capable of anything and anything and that's what I want you to pay attention to and that philosophy was given to me by my sister when I was in grade 8 or 7 I'm thinking and I had a picture of Sierra and she was like why don't you put yourself that person does not know you does not give F about you so put yourself on that screen and forget about the celebrity at the end of the day they are human beings the next day they can just say uh ah. and to think that you glorized you glamorized you worshipped and Chukukurai, everything those person only for them to not give it mm, about you let's jump into the videos the stitches actually in 15 years however the fuck long it's gonna be that Trey Songz doc is gonna be crazier than the R. Kelly one Trey Songz is the most nasty abusive rapey beats the shit out of women like he is the scum of the fucking earth Trey Songz is fucking disgusting and he's not wrong. If there's one motherfucker that deserves to be put under the fucking jail, it's Trey Songs. Let's talk about his allegations. I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown. I promise it'll be quick, but let's go. 2012, Trey Songs allegedly slaps a woman with a water cash at a strip club, leaves her with a black eye. 2016, he pleads guilty to two misdemeanor charges for punching a Detroit police officer, but also throwing a microphone that injures a cameraman. 2017, Kiki Palmer goes public with her allegations against Trey Songs, where she says he tried to sexually intimidate her to be in the music video. Says he recorded her without her consent after he found her hiding in a closet because she was so afraid of more conflict with him. And then she also says, and I quote, just cause you give someone food and alcohol and throw in a little sexual intimidation does not mean they will buckle. 2018, Trey Songs is arrested at his home in LA after a felony domestic violence allegation the woman in question, Andrea Buera, says that he choked her, he threw her down, and he punched her in the face. She said, and I quote, I wasn't your first victim, but I'm hoping to be your last. Same year, a woman named Johora Jeffries goes to party at Diddy's house, meets Trey there, and her and Trey and her friends end up going
going to a nightclub. At the nightclub, she says he essayed her with his fingers. She said that in fear of experiencing more abuse and violence, she started recording him when they got back into his car. He was so intoxicated that he ended up trying to snatch the phone from her hand and then they stopped the car. Him and his driver ended up pulling her out of the car, um, basically dragging her out onto the street. Most notably, y'all know Eliza Jane. She was the influencer who came out in 2020 saying that he urinated on her without her consent. Also that he took her purse and her phone, hung it over the balcony and basically told her if she tried to leave, he would throw it. 2021, Dylan Gonzalez, a woman's basketball player, tweets the following. Trey Songs is in our word. Lord forgive me, I couldn't hold that in another year. See you in 2022. She also says that all of the allegations coming forward about him make her relive her PTSD about being R-worded by him. Same year, 2021, Trey Songs is being investigated by the Las Vegas Police Department about an essay that happened at a Las Vegas hotel. Same year, Trey Songs punches a police officer at a basketball game. Same year, he is sued for punching a bartender at a Cardi B concert. Early 2022, he's involved in a lawsuit where a woman who says that she dated him consensually was essayed by him at a party at his house in 2016. She says that after the essay happened, she called an Uber and he saw her so distressed, he took her to the hospital. At the hospital, her injuries were so severe that she required back door surgery, if you know what I mean. Same year, a woman comes forward saying that in 2013, Trey Songs actually met her at a VIP tent, pulled her bikini top down and said, titties out in the open. For legal reasons, this is all alleged, of course, but how do y'all feel about this because I think this man is the scum of the earth, to be completely honest. He goes on to say beats the shit out of women. I can tell you that I have been within two feet distance of Trey Songs multiple times. And the man has a very dark energy about him. But what's worse is that I have inside information on the fact that, well, he beats the shit out of women. So here's my contribution to the overall societal think piece about Trey Songs in 2023. 10 years ago in 2013, I was friends with a young lady who was a couple years older than me. And in 2013, I was like 21. And basically she made it her most important personality trait that she got punched in the face by Trey Songs. I not only know this because she told me in a one-on-one -on -one setting, but also because she got in a fight with her brother at a party um, around October. Um, basically because he was gonna go like get a section with him or do something in a section with Trey Song. And she was like, why would you do that? He hurt your sister, blah, blah, blah. And he just really didn't give a fuck. So flash forward to two years ago in 2021, like January sometime, the young lady introduces me to another young lady who was going to a party. And guess who was going to be there? Trey Songs. But the interesting thing about this young lady, as the other young lady had revealed in an open conversation, was that she also got punched in the face by Trey Songs. And my friend got punched in the face by Trey Songs because she went to his hotel room and did not want to give up puss. And I just want to say, as a woman who has made that mistake before and reaped the negative consequences of it, um, if you go to a room with a man and you don't want to give up puss, like, you're asking to get graped. You just are. I'm sorry. I know it's not like like pc or pro woman to say that but that's just like the honest to god truth because that's what ends up happening or like my friend you end up getting punched in the face so yeah um i like i said i've been around the man dark energy not really a fan i mean he made some really great songs to like hunch to but other than that i just don't really vibe with the whole mr songs thing child don't shoot the messenger but i kind of got some tea on this so when i was living at los angeles i was working at an airport los angeles not an airport the L, the lax i was working at fucking lax why would i say an airport and um on like the orientation day this was back in like 2019 on orientation day i met this girl i don't remember her name but i met this girl and she told me how she used to live with Trey Song. And this was around the time he just came out saying he had a baby and shit. So I was like, ooh, for real? Like, find that Trey Song? Like, you live with him? That's crazy. Now, she was very descriptive. She was talking about his dog. She said she's met his baby before. So, I, like, it wasn't no reason for me to not believe her because I didn't know her. But she could have been lying. But this is the part that got me. The girl 
said that he would invite girls over, okay, and she, she, she would get drunk with them, like real, real drunk, get them nice and toasty, and he texted him, he texted her, like, send him, send him to my room now, and she sent him to the room, and then she was like, and then the rest is history. She even went as far as to show me pictures of her in this man's house with him. So that's how I knew she wasn't lying. Like, it was pictures of them in the bathroom taking pictures together, all kinds of stuff. So he was having her recruit girls, get them drunk so he can, like, have his way with them. And after that, it always stuck in my head about him. And then all this discourse over the years that's been coming out about him, it just made me be like, she couldn't have been lying. It's and and also my whole thought process is, bitch, you're Trey Songs. You're literally the fucking panty dropper. You 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 know that. So why the fuck are you taking advantage of people? Like that's so weird. And I hope that justice is served.